with PMP Crafters here. Today we are going to be making a Pringles can. This will be the 1.3 ounce can and we're going to be doing it using Microsoft Word. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I have Microsoft Word already pulled up. There's just a few things that we need to adjust before we go ahead and make that label. So the first thing we're going to need to do is change the way our paper is. So we're going to need to rotate it around. So we're gonna go out to layout and then we're going to change it into landscape mode. Okay, so now that the paper is on landscape, there's a couple other things that we need to make sure that we do. We wanna make sure that our paper size is at the 8.5 by 11, as well as we need to go ahead and change our margin. We want our margin to be spread out as wide as possible. And so our narrow, which is a 0.5 by 0.5, is what we want. So go ahead and click on that. Now our paper is laid out and ready for us to go ahead and create our template. Now from here, we're going to go to insert. And we're going to go to our shapes. And we're going to click on rectangle. We're simply just gonna draw a rectangle in here. Does not have to be perfect. All we need it to do is to bring up our rectangle toolbar or our shape toolbar. And then we're gonna go right over here to the right side and we're going to put in our measurements of our height being uh, three inches and then our width being 10 inches. Once we have that, we are, our shape, of course, will adjust itself. And then we want to make sure that we put it into the center of our paper. Okay. Now, once we have our shape here, we want to make sure that before we save our template, we want to go ahead and make a copy of this. So I'm going to right click, copy. Then I'm gonna click back into my paper and I'm going to paste it. So now I have two of our rectangles here and they're not quite even on my paper. I'm just gonna make it a little more even on my paper here. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, so now that I have it pretty much even on my paper, what I want to do now is go into file and make sure I go to save as, so that way I will have my template here and will be ready for design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick design for you guys so that way you can see what all you can do in here. So I'm gonna stop talking and just get to work. <laughs> Okay, so here's a quick design that you can definitely do or use, but of course, once you've done all of that, you will then need to take each image and make a copy. And then you're going to, of course, paste it again. So that way you have the exact same size and you're able to duplicate it on your other piece here. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And then after that, you will be able to print. We are now gonna to need to create our 
top for our Pringles can. So we're going to go to File, New. We need another blank sheet of paper. Now this one you can rotate it or you don't have to rotate it. Um, we just want to make sure that in our layout that once again our margins are narrow. And then we're going to go to Insert. We're going to go to our Shapes. And this time we are going to go to our oval or we can go down, of course, to our circle. And I'm not able to find my circle right now. There is a circle on here, you guys. <laughs> Let's go to oval. Um, then we're just going to pull it out here. And we want to make sure that when we pull this out, that we are able to go over to here in our section here. And we're going to make our height a three and our width a three as well. And then here we have our perfect top circle. Now, of course, we wanna make sure that everything, the layout options are where we able to move it. And then we're just gonna make a couple copies here to fill up the paper. So of course, we're gonna um, right click, make a copy, and then immediately paste. Now, when we do so, they put them right here. We want to make sure that it is where you can move it. Okay. I don't have them spread out too far, but I'm going to then once again paste again. Get where I can move it. Now, if you really work at this, you probably can get quite a few on here. All right, I do believe I can get six on here. So, um, so once you have them all here, you want to go ahead, click File, Save, so that way you have your top of your can as well as um, keeping that so that way you can use it for future times. And then you can then now start designing and creating for your top can label to match your wrapper to go around the top, I mean, to go around the bottom. Now that we have our top of our Pringles can, we save this and we have our, our wrapper to go around. We can now go ahead and design and print and cut and enjoy. I hope this video was helpful for you getting your Pringles can wrapper together. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time.